Selecting your KDP low content book categories. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B, and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm doing is I'm actually covering why it's so difficult to actually select your KDP low content book categories and how you can actually go about changing them so that you may be able to get some more sales and they're in more appropriate categories. So when we first go and upload our KDP low content books, we are asked to select two categories and these don't seem to match what you actually see on Amazon. And the reason for that is Amazon has their own categories, which is over about 16,000 categories. But when you're uploading your book to their site, they are using a system called Bisec, which has only about 4,000 categories and they do get updated, but very slowly. So what is BISAC? Well, BISAC is the universal base category system, which is used by all the libraries and online and offline bookstores. And it's basically so that they know where to put books on the shelves or in the virtual shelves for customers to actually go and find. But Amazon is a very good store that knows their customers inside out. So they've created extra categories for their customers to go and actually find their books or their products that they want to purchase. But we as low content book creators need to first get our book uploaded and get it approved during the review period and then from then we can actually go and actually change our categories to be more in an area where our customers are going to find them. We can also use categories to actually find some books and find some new niches and I'll take you through that as well. Now in this video I am going to use some free tools and I'm going to use some paid tools and I'll tell you which one is which. But first when you come to choose your two categories what you need to do is choose I choose something in the non-fiction usually whether it be aimed at children or aimed at um adults now fiction is stories so if you are doing a low content book that's actually a story then you obviously you would choose fiction there and if it's a children's book you would choose juvenile fiction but you can't choose both so it's either got to be a non-fiction book or a fiction book and there are plenty of sort of areas what I wouldn't do is choose non-classifiable so if say you've got a diary try and link that diary to an area, an occupation or a, what is linked on the picture. So say if you're doing a gardening diary, then put it in the gardening area. Say you're doing a notebook and it's aimed at lawyers with some snarky comments, then put it in the law one to start with. This is only to start with. Then once you've done that and your book is approved, then you can actually go and select your different categories. So if we have a look at Amazon bestsellers, these are all the books and these are all the categories. And you can see that there is a lot there. So if you click on like arts and photography, so you'll see that there's architecture, business of art, collections, decorative arts, drawing, fashion, graphic design. So there might be some low content books like this is a coloring book. No doubt it is also a independently published one which it is which means it is a kdp low content one and we can actually see all the different categories that they're in now you can go up to 10 categories you may be able to do a bit more but the sweet spot seems to be 10 categories and i'm going to show you how you can go about adding your categories so what you need to do is we need to find out which categories this book is in, if we want to compete with it or be in the same categories. Now, this is a free tool that I'm going to use now. And what they are looking for. Oh, hang on. That's from the book I was looking at. So let me just go here again. And I want the ASIM. Let's, oops, copied it. There we go. Place. And then go find. And then what it should do is it tells me what the book is. I apologize that it's a swear word. And they have only got three categories. Now you could go and use those different categories and take them and add them 
to KDP. Now, how do you do that? If you go into Amazon itself to your KDP platform and click on help, at the top here, you'll see Amazon store and product detail, and then you'll see update Amazon categories. Now, before you used to have to send an email and you used to have to write down everything, but they're actually telling you what to do here. So you would put the ASIN number of your book or ISBN number, the marketplace where you want the categories to be added or changed, book format, so if it's a paperback, and then the category, and you would put it in. So the categories to be added. So I've just done a quick example here. I've added an ASIN number. I want it changed in the amazon.com market if i wanted it changed in say the german market i would put dot de if i italy market dot it uk market dot co dot uk and so forth and then back paperback and then i want all that string so you can get all that string using this free tool i'll leave that in the description below but you can also use categories to find out how many books you need to actually sell in order to either be in the top 10 or to get that orange sticker that number one sticker so if we have a look at this book here and we click on it here we might be able to see if it is a best-selling book and we can see that it's got a bestseller in numerous coloring books for grown-ups so i'm going to just take that off quickly so also, I'm going to leave a link down here for you to read the rules about actually putting your books into the correct categories because some people have been putting them in really obscure categories. Now, Amazon has not stopped people doing that, but they do say don't be redundant. Choose a single category that will display your book in a variety of searches. So they, they don't say don't do it, but I don't know if you should do it. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paid tool publisher rocket and what you can do is you can do a category search on here so say we want to go into arts and photography and what we can do is we can see how many sales a day we need to do to get to the best seller book so if i just click on here and it, it will bring me up and you can actually see that in this section here you can even be in the million bsr rank to actually get a number one best-selling book in this rank and it's about tango so maybe do a coloring book with different dancers in and you could do the tango in it so what we can do is we can actually go and check it out to see what other books we are competing with in this area and if it's appropriate to put a low content book in you might be able to put a notebook in as well where dancers can actually write down the choreography i can't say the word their dance routines because i can't say the word but here we can see somebody's put one in that's inappropriate category ballroom dance tap dance maybe where people can write down their dance thing and we can see that they've got that a number tech number two in that area and here again that's not appropriate but you can do things let's see this again not appropriate so if i was a dancer i'd come here i go why where's the calendars here <laughs> as a customer i wouldn't be happy as a low content book creator i can see why people do it but it's not something that you should do. Now, you can create a low content book on dance, like I've just said, a book where people can write their dance routines down or write down the music they, they want to use in a dance routine. Or a notebook that's aimed at dancers that like tango. So that is how to actually use it correctly. So it would be in the right area. So that is quite good there. Now, there's other ones here, women's women in art, so we could check that out as well and see if there's anything appropriate. So there might be some colouring books, maybe, I don't know, doing this on the fly. So this is the books, Women in Art, and we're going to see if there's any low-content books. Well, there's a colouring book here, so that's a low-content book. 
Again, we can see the BSR is quite high, but they must be getting some sales and they're not in the getting the number one. So let's go and have another look and see if there's anything else. So we might have to go up higher. So we'll go to dance, see if there's anything in general dance. And we've got one. Except it's not an appropriate book because <laughs> um, it's vehicles. So why it's in dance. So that's one there. And they're number one in dance music. So they've got the bestseller, but they have got two other categories where they are more appropriate. So it's up to you whether you put them in appropriate areas or not. I personally think that Amazon is all about the customer and the customer may complain about seeing a number one bestseller book or they might think, hmm, I need one of those for a present. I don't know. So you can do it and that is a way of doing it. If you want to check out Publisher Rocket, it will be down in the description. I am going to do some more videos showing you how to actually use Publisher Rocket. There is also a free course from Publisher Rocket down in the description for you to learn about Amazon ads. And again, I'll leave this down here for you so that you can go and get the different links to put into your message to go and add up to 10 categories for your books so that you can start selling a lot more books and getting ready for quarter four. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to check out my previous video on hard covers and how you can actually create a hard cover in PowerPoint.